The day before the Prophet ﷺ passed away, he said this one key piece of advice. He said, Ahsinu adhanna billah. Ahsinu adhanna billah. Always have good expectations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always have the best of expectations from Allah. That's something very, very important. We are struggling, we are dealing with some spiritual bleakness. People lack hope. People don't see any lights on the horizon. We need to renew our iman, renew our faith and know who we believe in. And his might and his power and his greatness. And he can bring light in the middle of the night. He can deliver us from the most overwhelming of circumstances. He will make a way. You just have to believe. So, ahsinu adhanna billah. Always know that Allah will make a way for you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. And then another very powerful message, concluding message from the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Pray your salah, give your zakah, and look after, fulfill the rights of the people that you are responsible for. This is the balance that we have to learn to strike in our lives. Maintain your relationship with Allah. And the primary form of that is keeping up with your prayers. And then secondly, take care of the people, value the people, cherish the people. Care for the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you responsibility over. We will be asked about it, we will be, we will be accounted for it. There is a reckoning that is coming. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will readily forgive our indiscretions in regards to Him. But when we violate other people's rights, that's something that won't be so easily forgiven. We will be held to account for it. Fix your character. Repair your relationships. Learn to be more responsible in your personal life. And towards the people that have rights upon you. And lastly and finally, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he went a week before he passed away. He called one of the other people, who was another freed slave. The Prophet ﷺ had freed him. And so he was very close to the Prophet ﷺ. He called him and he said, take me to Al-Baqir, the graveyard of Medina. I want to go pay my respects. His family was there. His children were there. His friends and companions were there. So he said, I want to go pay my respects one last time. And he helped him walk. And he went all the way to the graveyard and paid his respects there. And afterwards, as he was walking back, he says to the, to, to the, to the man who's helping him walk, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the slave a choice. He gave me a choice. To continue to live in this world, or to depart from this world and go and be with Allah. And the man started to cry and he said, please tell me, I beg you, I will do anything. Tell me that you asked to stay. I need you to stay. We need you to stay. And the Prophet ﷺ said, no, it's time for me to go and be with Allah. Allahumma illa rafiq al-a'la. Oh Allah, I want to be with you. And so I mentioned this last and final point here. Not to create a sense of morbidity, nor to create a sense of, you know, giving up on this particular life, but to understand that we do have a final destination. We do have a goal and objective. And the more we are focused on the goal and the objective and the final destination, the more meaningfully, the more with dignity and honor and focus and respect will we live this particular life.